Good afternoon, good afternoon. How are you? If you're following on this page, this is the Massive Life Changing Value page, and I'm Ryan J. I hope you're doing uh, phenomenal. Hope you're healthy, happy, wealthy, and well uh, today. Um, so I was doing a little reflecting uh, this morning, uh, meditation, reading, writing, because uh, that's what I do. Um, well, keeps my mind right, you know. And uh, I, I don't know, it's just part of my routine. So let's get into what I was thinking about. And to start it all off, I'm going to share a story with you. And uh, this ties in, the story ties into the notes that I took and, well, y you'll get it. You'll get it. Here's the story. Here's how I learned how to work hard. And um, it stems from my very first real job that I had um, at 14 years old. So at 14 years old, um, uh, I don't know how it all came about, but um, I ended up getting a landscaping job. And it was a Minnesota summer. All right, so, you know, it's hot, humid, probably about 85, 90 out. And now, painting the picture, I know nothing about landscaping. I know nothing about hard work. I know zero clue as to what we're doing anyway. You know, I'm 14. It's my first go at it, you know? My first up the bat. So here I am. Um, that day we were moving rock. We were moving dirt um, and rolling and prepping, prepping the soil to roll the sod. So that there's a lot of raking, there's a lot of moving, uh, wheelbarrows full of uh, dirt, uh, debris, rock, that sort of deal, you know. Um, and at 14, I wasn't the biggest guy on the block. Uh, I probably was about, ooh, geez probably about 150 pounds. Yep, yep, late, little, little bit of a late bloomer. So I'm not the biggest, nor the strongest, nor um, I don't know if I would even want myself on the crew, actually, you know, to be 100% honest, um, I would have, I would have picked a bigger specimen of a human being. Anyhow, so, we're probably about three or four hours into the day and you know I got my little rake thing and I'm um, you know uh, raking some stuff I don't know what I'm doing the instruction was like literally pretty minimal at best so not that I have faulted the instruction but I don't know what I'm doing okay about three hours into the day, one of the crew, one of the crew members, not my boss, like a peer or a co-worker, we should say, uh, says to me, what in the hell are you doing? Can't you see that everybody else is like running around with wheelbarrows and you're just putzing around here, over here with some rocks? Like, how'd you even get here? Like, how did you get here? And so I reflect for a moment and I'm like, how did I get here? And uh, apparently this guy seems kind of pissed. Well, rightfully so, because the rest of the crew is doing stuff and making progress. And I'm sitting over in the corner, probably in the shade probably in the shade with my small little rake 
and my four rocks that I'm messing around with. And uh, he says, um, that was an eye-opening experience for me at that point in time of like recognizing effort, all right? These people are putting in effort and they're working and they're doing the damn thing. And hell, the boss, the boss of the operation is like literally running with wheelbarrows. And so that was my first recognition of effort put in. So we took a Mountain Dew break and uh, I think I asked a couple of questions of, hey, what's expected? What do I do? Like, you know, I don't want to get fired the first day. So uh, I asked a couple, two, three key questions to point me in the right direction of what's expected of me. And then from there on, and that point on, during the rest of the day, I learned how to work and kept up with the crew, kept up with expectations, recognized what they were doing and that needs to equate to me in my effort. So that is, that is my, my story of the very first day I learned what work ethic was and how to do it. <clears throat> now, that leads me to my notes. <clears throat> so, with that experience in mind and that story, is it not fair to put forth your best effort? Is it not fair for the boss? Is it not fair to the rest of the crew you're working with? your co-workers, teammates, whatever you want to call them, is it not fair for them to put forth your best effort? Um, and is it not fair for you to put forth your best effort? Because I know after I get done working and doing the best I can do in said job, I feel a whole hell of a lot better about myself than if I just, uh, you know, uh, sat in the shade with my little rake messing around with my four rocks. Now, here's another thing. Since when has an eight hour, since when has an eight hour work day been like the standard thing that we do here in the United States. Eight hours a day, five days a week, and uh, call it good. Well, honestly, reflecting on eight hours a day, five days a week, uh, I don't believe the United States of, an, of America would be in the position we are in right now if that was the industry standard from the get. Um, I don't know of any farmer that works eight hours a day. It just does, it doesn't happen like that. I mean, it's not, it's not the deal. You know, it's not, oh, okay. Five o'clock, quitting time. It's not the deal. Um, now, a little little story about Thomas Edison. You might have heard about this guy, uh, inventor. Um, invented like thousands and thousands of things that uh, we don't necessarily even know about but we do know about one thing he invented and we use it on a daily and that's the light bulb he attributed his success and now there are stories told about his uh, his trials and tribulations of creating the light bulb and the 10,000 hour rule and the 10,000 hour rule it goes a little something like this. Now, I don't know if it's necessarily 10,000. It could be 
11,123 hours, or it could be 9,874 hours. I don't know, but to keep the math simple, we'll go with 10,000 hours. And 10,000 hours of it is referred to about the experience, the learning curve, um, practice, practice, practice until you're proficient at something. And then uh, you might be, you might be kind of decent or you may be an expert. So 10,000 hours. So back to this Thomas Edison guy. He attributed his success to 2% um, inspiration and 98% perspiration. So that means 2% uh, of the time he was getting inspired, 98% of the time he was working and figuring it out and failing, or maybe not failing, because you really truly never fail, you do not succeed or you learn, you don't fail. I've said this before, the only time you fail is when you quit. So he spent 98% of the time working and uh, doing it. Now, I don't know if 98% of the time equates to an eight hour workday. I would venture to guess that 98% um, of the time his work days might have been 10, the 12, maybe he was super inspired that day and it was a 14 hour work day. <clears throat> so I think, I think, uh, I think you understand where I'm going with this, that um, necessarily an eight hour work day is not, we are, there is more inspiration and inspiring and work we can do that is more fair for ourselves and more fair for our family, more fair for our community, more fair for the job and your coworkers to put in more effort than an eight hour work day. Now, where's this all going? <clears throat> if you're watching me on this, then um, you're in the massive life-changing value group and I'm super excited because I got inspired yesterday, inspired just yesterday to change the dynamic, the culture, and the movement of massive life-changing value. I took some notes and I'm gonna share them with you because I believe they're important that you hear these and to be familiar with where, where my vision is taking us and the movement I wanna create. Um, and I will complete the manifesto today or creed or uh, vision statement or whatever it is. I'll work on that and I'll have that completed today, but it's going to go a little something like this. Massive life-changing value consists of positive people. We're focused. We're driven. We're risk takers. We're self-confident. It's gonna increase our status. Um, we bring value wherever we show up. When, when we're invited somewhere and when we leave a place, it, it, we leave it better and with a positive influence of being invited back. Of course. So it's a new breed, a new breed of, of work ethic and vision and discipline, purpose and drive. Now, if you're watching this, you may be, um, you may be the type of person that I'm, uh, that I'm looking to lock arms with and 
and fulfill this movement of massive life-changing value and bettering ourselves and and not accepting status quo because we're a new breed it's a new breed <sighs> If you're interested and you're watching this, get into the comments, get into the DM. Um, I'd like to have a conversation with you. Because uh, I think I got something really exciting in the works coming up within the next week and a half or so. So anyhow, I hope I provide a value for you. I, it, the vision will become more clear um, it's in the inception state. But yeah, just wanted to let you know. So cool. Uh, with that, um, I'm wrapping this one up for the day. Making an epic day. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy.